Good morning. My name is Monika Banke, and I was asked um, to give a talk on the stewardship of treasure. And uh, when I was first asked to give this talk, I kind of knew what that meant, but I wanted to make sure. So I looked up um, the phrase, and it's pretty much a fancy word um, that asks the question, how do we carefully and responsibly manage the money that God has entrusted to us? So as my husband and I sat down and prepared for this talk, um, we felt like God wanted us to be authentic, real, and honest. Um, throughout our marriage, God has always taken care of us. He was always there for us through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and we kept hearing throughout our marriage from God, do you trust me? The first example that we reflected on in our life was um, through our parents. Um, both of our parents had gone to Mass every Sunday, and they always gave money in the collection. They would even give us like a dollar or two to put in there. So we knew that it was important to give to the parish, but I didn't know the why, and I didn't ask that question. So my challenge to the youth um, in the parish today is, don't be afraid to ask the why. Throughout our marriage, um, we started to give, but it was very minimal and it was more out of an obligation. Uh, I remember one time um, we had gone to my mom and dad's house and on their windowsill I was taking a drink of water and I saw their envelope, uh, their donation for the parish, and I thought, oh, they're giving more than we are. So I like challenged, I'm like, challenge accepted, I'm gonna, we're gonna up our offering. Um, so that was just one of the, the ways that we kept giving, but we were still giving out of obligation. The next story, this one is a little embarrassing, but uh, it was necessary to tell. Our oldest son was going to join Faith Formation. He was in first grade. And we received the letter for the fee, and it was $65 at the time. And I remember thinking, like, are you kidding me, $65? The book probably cost $15, and the catechist is free. So, like, where is this extra money going? So I was very ignorant. Um, and it's funny how God works, because now I am in the Faith Formation position. And... Uh, there is much more that goes into that cost. Um, so I called my sister, and I really called to vent, because I'm like, she's going to totally be on my side. Um, and at this time, she worked as the youth minister at Holy Family. And um, I praise God that he gave her the courage to speak the truth, because she kind of brought me back to reality. She's like, Monica, um, there's lights that we have to pay for at the parish. There's heat. And she's like, there's way more that goes into that cost. And I guess I, I never even realized that. And she's like, it's the generosity of the parishioners that keeps the parish going. So we ended the conversation, and I was still upset, um, but the seed was planted. We had heard um, a talk also about tithing. This was another way that the seed was planted um, in our family. And, of course, when I was listening to the talk, I kind of rolled my eyes like, oh, here we go, they're going to tell me what, what I should be doing. Um, the, par or the, the speaker was a professor at a university, so I knew that he um, made more money than, than I did. So he suggested to give 5% to the parish and 5% to the charity, um, the charity of your choice. And I thought, well, that's great. Um, but, you know, we can't afford to do that. Well, I didn't realize that 5% means of what you make, so it's not what he makes. Um, and he also suggested to start small. He said, start with 1% and work your way up to that. So I thought, okay, I'll accept that challenge. So we did, but it still was not consistent. We kept having uh, many conversions within our Catholic faith, and the, the more we opened up our hearts to God, the bitterness would subside. The virtue of generosity was growing in our marriage, we started giving as an, out of an act of free will and not out of obligation. We signed up for online giving, and that's where the consistency started to come. We also wanted to give to Holy Family Parish because it was our home, um, and we wanted it to be a sanctuary for others. And because God has always taken care of us, it's the least that we could have done. He gave us our mind and our ability to work, so why not give back to the creator of all things? Um, another thought that kind of popped through Nate in our mind was, um, if the great prophets and Christ himself, or who are we to say that if the great prophets and Christ himself were wrong 
when it comes to the teachings on tithing. God challenged us one more time. We increased our online giving because Nate had gotten a raise at work. And um, it also turned the other way around. Um, sometimes with the previous employer, without, without them knowing it, um, we would increase our giving and then he would receive a raise. Um, so that's how God works through everyone. The last story I would like to share, this was probably the catalyst um, within our experience of giving to the parish. It was the Learning Center campaign was in full force. And Nate and I had talked about the amount that we wanted to donate. We were comfortable with the amount. It wasn't too much of a stretch, but it was, uh, in our eyes, very generous. So the parishioner came to our house and sat down with us, and he um, gave the suggested amount, and um, I just about threw up in my mouth. It was five times the amount that out we thought was our generosity. I was really, really angry. So when he left, um, Nate calmed me down, and normally it's the other way around. Normally I'm the one that's like, oh, everything's going to be okay. Um, and he's like, hey, let's just pray about this, and then we'll kind of come together in a week, and we'll see what God has to say. And I was like, that's my line. Like, that's what I was thinking in my head. I say that. So I was really mad. I was really mad with myself. Like, why am I so frustrated with this? Like, this is very difficult. So Nate and I reconvened, and we both agreed on an amount, and it was halfway between what the parishioner had given as the suggestion. And uh, it was very difficult. It was actually the first time that we have sacrificially give, given to the parish. Um, it wasn't easy. And all the things that kept going through my head was, we could remodel our kitchen, we could pay off bills, but this was what God was asking us to do. And I will never forget, um, after that conversation, Nate looked at me in the eyes and he's like, Monica, God has always taken care of us. And he does. And it's not always sunshine and roses. There are lots of struggles, but he knows our hearts. He knew that for 15 years we had a desire to truly tithe. He was a patient father, and he gave us great opportunities to practice the virtue of generosity. God's generosity has been a model for us to follow. So I would like to leave you guys with two words. Two words that are very difficult to say, but two words that will transform your life. Those two words are, I surrender. I surrender my life, I surrender my marriage, my family, and my finances to you, O oh God. Thank you, and God bless.